Yes, don't forget to check out Doggy Diamonds No Filter on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. The links are right below in the description box. Um, I'm back on SoundCloud as well. So make sure you go to SoundCloud and look up Doggy Diamonds No Filter. I got to make sure that link is back in the description box as well. But I'm back on SoundCloud for the people who like SoundCloud. Also, for only $100, I'll promote whatever you need on my social medias and my website. That's my Twitter, Facebook, Insta Stories, YouTube community, and my website, like I said, www.doggydiamondstv.com. Hit me up on Instagram at Doggy Diamonds for your promo. Serious inquiries only must be cash app ready. Also, make sure you go to www.theinterviewking.com and sign up for the email list. So that way, anytime I drop new content, it will come directly to your email. You don't, We don't have to wait for YouTube to do no... BS. Let's get to it. All right. We're going to do something different today because we're not going to do a, a long intro. We're just going to go right into it. Trike, where you at? <laughs> we we right here. We got, um, introduce yourself to the people. Yo, it's Fabian. It's Fabian. It's that gangster. It okay. Really yeah. And, um, this is, I guess this is part two for us. Yeah. You know, they, they, this, this your people. So they, if they in tune with you, that mean they, in tune five years of that joint, I saw it over four hundred plus views. So, yes, four hundred thousand. So that's that's your that's your your network, bro. Yeah, and and the funniest thing is that me and you um from the same neighborhood um we ain't gonna get into all the positive, but we from the same hood um <laughs> see you all the time. And what I always want to know, bro um how did you hold your head throughout all this? Because I'm not gonna lie to you, sometimes I used to see you pacing. And I used to see you in your own zone sometimes. How did you hold your head when it first happened to, to Rest in Peace Banger and for these last six, seven years? The people the people I kept around me mm -hmm. were, were important, were key. Uh, the, you know, the people around me had, had double heads and knew that there was so much that I had invested into the community and to the people that I couldn't just be a reactionary. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, I, got, I got kids. My kids, they keep me smiling every day. You know, I look at them. So I had to, you know, every day remind myself that my choice is going to affect them. So that's the main things that kept me focused. And just staying involved in the world, just just trying to keep keep moving, keeping changed, keeping helping people. You know, when that happened, it gave me the the understanding that to be able to not sympathize, but empathize with what a lot of mothers are going through in these communities and siblings who lose brothers and sisters. You know, a lot of young homies out here in these streets, uh, they overlook, you know what I'm saying? Like the, 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 the young man, a young black man that get killed and the only people that get the support really be the mothers and, mm. and the, siblings be the, the siblings be the hurt ones that go out there and keep, keep committing more murders. So yeah. it's important to recognize that. And also, um, I don't think the people—I don't think people understood the the. Um, I wouldn't say the pressure, but the the. We got a lot of ignorance in the hood, and people always mobilize to say, "Yo, try it. Yeah, wh 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 whenever you." And and you had to say, "I know plenty of times, yo, be easy. I'm easy. Let's be easy." What made you do that? Did you freeze? I think he froze. Yo, yo, you still there? He froze. All right, let me see if I could get him back. He froze really quick. Yeah, we here on um, live. You know, when you live, technical difficulties happen. So we just trying to see uh, where he's at. I want to tell him that he froze and maybe he could come back in really quick. Let me um actually see if he could come back really quick. Um. Yeah, he froze. He should be back in a second. He'll come back in. This is to today. This is twice a day. But um, he should be back any second. Um, We're going to really go deep in this interview. Um, For y'all who's a fan of what I do and y'all watched our last interview, y'all should be able to know um what's going on, what happened. And if not, we're going to give y'all um a little um history of, of, of who this man is what he had to deal with, what he had to go through, and what he's still going through to this day. Um, a lot yeah, of times, would you say the Zoom what? 
Nah, my Zoom, I don't, you know, yeah, Zoom yeah. thing went out. Yeah. Okay. So what I, what the last questions I asked you, bro, was, um, we, we in the hood, we we deal with a lot of ignorance. We got a lot of comrades and a lot of people that's gonna say, "Yo, let's go. I'm ready to go." What made you say, "I'm gonna be easy. I want to be easy." Besides your children, because we know we got. Come on, bro. We we got them. That's on go time. How how did you stay off go time? I didn't even go around certain people, bro. Mm -hmm. I couldn't go around certain people, and I couldn't expect them to uh, to not be with the goal. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I had to I had to stay in, in a certain bubble mm -hmm. and in a certain path because some some people even now I haven't spoke to in years about it because I know they only want to talk about peace and none of that. Mm -hmm. you know, it's mm -hmm. The reality of it. So mm -hmm. you know, so a lot of times people don't think just. Making sure you don't address things at that moment will give you that time to deal with it later, give you more options. Mm -hmm. So that's really what it was. But there's a lot of people that's been upset, and still upset. And, you know, if I would react, then they're going to react. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, I can't yeah. react because it becomes a chain, becomes a chain reaction. And, 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 and I remember a time on Clubhouse um, and, and you had a dialogue with this bozo um, and he was saying some wild, foul shit because he kept talking about the case and the situation you was putting people in their yeah, place huh? there's a lot of you gotta identify bozos there's a lot of bozos out there bro. oh um Hassan Campbell's the main bozo who who I heard what he had to say to you um and right. I wasn't feeling that because I'm like why are you saying all that but your thing was why was why was a lot of people speaking on a situation that they wasn't there for and it was it could have hurt the case it could have hindered because you wasn't saying nothing but everybody has something to say when he said some of the things that he said to you, I know you, bro. And you 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 ain't ducking no smoke, you're not ducking no fist fight with nobody. But again, you was easy. How did you because this is the learning lesson? How did you how did you maintain? I I I'm, I gotta commend you for that because I know you. <laughs> you don't maintain. You know what I'm saying? Like it's you, you gonna go, but you maintain. How did you maintain, especially the disrespectful shit that he had to say? I'm maintaining. Yeah, it's right at this moment. Mm -hmm. right you, at you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, people people get on 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 YouTube, and, and they and they turn into real characters. Right? Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of people that do that. Like right? the thing about you, you've always been who you are, that's why I fucks with you, mm -hmm. you know. It has nothing to do with our community relationship in the streets, but mm -hmm. just how you do what you do. I, I know you in the streets, so I don't see you acting like you somebody else mm -hmm. on YouTube, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, and you, and that's what I see, right? So even when it comes to our son, I got no problem saying his brother name. Yeah, he's very disrespectful, extremely, no better. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He should have known better. The people around him should have told him not to, but he playing a, a part, right? And, 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 and it's, it's a game to him for, for, for views, for dollars. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. YouTube is, is people's business, but this is real life to me. So I'm not I'm not dealing with it the same way you're dealing with it, right? The, the dude, the good brother, hit me later on with, you know, he Muslim and uh, DM me, he, he, he only want peace. But you do that. You, you gotta. You gotta do that in, in public. You don't come do dis be disrespectful in public and then apologize in private. That's so he. He's. You know what I mean, man. I mean, he think we. I don't know if he think we good, but when I see him, I'm still gonna address because I'm not. I'm not. I'm not complete with the level of disrespect that I dealt with. But I'm not gonna play the run down chase you game because then I become the aggressor. Mm -hmm. But when I see you, we gotta do what we deal with in life. You feel what I'm saying? Got you. Um, I want to clarify too. Every time I went um in these. On my platform, I told I always try to clarify to the people. Um, Benga was not Troy Ave's bodyguard because when you say somebody's their bodyguard, it's their duty to give up their life for this individual. Could you clarify that for the people? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's incredible. We still on that part. They went to U -Trip, New U Trip High School together. Mm -hmm. right, um, when I came, the last time I came home from prison, around two thousand. My brother was out of college by the time I came out of, he was in college by the time I came out the last time. So he had left high school and the relationship had established to what it was at that point. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So 
he came to me and said, yo, this is this is my homie. He's doing music. So I'm, you know, I'm riding with him. And, and that's how that goes. You know, we're gonna help our homie whatever position we have to play. He's a big, strong dude. He does, he he is a bodyguard. He is a, pro, a, a professional security. He, he held down clubs in New York and Atlanta. Mm -hmm. That is a job description that he holds, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But he, he's more than that to have. That, so that's where the, you know, Mr. School coming at. Got you, got you. Um, Right now, the, 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 the verdict is in. Could you explain the verdict to the people? Because a lot of people, I heard people saying, yo, he good. He only going to get this amount of time. Yo, he only going to get this. He only got, he only going to get manslaughter. He only got manslaughter. He beat the murder, so he'll be home in two years. Could you explain to people what's really going on? Yeah. Uh, this, that's one of the reasons why I'm, I'm speaking, I'm speaking about it now. I'm giving people the opportunity to have some clarity because I pop in on YouTube and clubhouse rooms and I see people is confused because Navis always get spent in everything. Like people wanted to favor the side that they wanted to favor. I, I watched for seven years while people did this and, and all they did was they disregarded Banger, rest in peace Banger, and all they cared about was is Troy Ave going to testify in free tax stone. You see what I'm saying? All mm -hmm. the time forget the forget the young man that died and the other people that's that was shot. Right, mm -hmm. so he went to. He was charged originally with murder, attempt murder on Troy Ave, first degree assault on Maggie, Mano ex girl, another young brother on the on the second floor got hit in the floor in the stomach, lost his intestine. He got. We can hear them in the background. Yo, bro, you can, they can hear you in the background. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. So. You got all these people shot, right? Mm -hmm. Damn. <laughs> so all these people that shot, now he gets convicted for manslaughter, right? Convicted mm -hmm. for uh, assault in the first degree, two assaults in the first degree, and assault in the second degree, and two weapon possession. Right, mm -hmm. two charges, one carrying and one intent to use. So, when you get charged with the charge, they're gonna hit you with the highest charge. And when you go to trial, it's up to them to prove those charges beyond a reasonable doubt. Mm -hmm. Okay, they were not able to prove intentional murder mm -hmm. beyond a reasonable doubt. The jury came back with, "We can't prove intentional murder, but you did prove." manslaughter to us you understand what i'm saying this is what this is what you have to understand you did prove okay you didn't we, we can't say that he attempted to murder troy Ave, but we can say that you proved that uh, he assaulted him in the first degree mm -hmm. right we can't say that you we we can't say that you attempted to assault uh christopher vincent who was shot in the stomach on the second floor and assault in the first degree because he was on the second floor so we're going to say uh that the evidence proved to us that it was second degree Mm -hmm. Make sense, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. This is this is how the this is how the verdict came out. So now it's up to the judge to sentence him based on each one of those guilty verdicts that was rendered. Got you. So why are people saying, "Yo, he'll be home in two years"? He got seven, and if he do another three years, he'll be right home. Why? Why is people? What, what's the misconception that these people have with these sentences? Because you know, and then he has the Fed sentence as well for the gun. That's not has nothing to do with this. But I don't know. People, people are one. I, I try to give benefit of the doubt to people. I don't want to just say some people are just stupid, mm -hmm. right? I don't yeah, want to yeah. just do that. Yeah, but yeah. there are a lot of there are a lot of stupid people. Facts. You know what I'm saying, but um, uh, and they're on the internet, mm -hmm. just a hundred, just running their mouth, just talking. You know, you don't know none. They don't know none of none of us. None mm -hmm. of this. They just mm -hmm. watch and they got something to say. Oh, I have something to say. Mm -hmm. I feel this way. A free tax, and you know what I'm saying. Troy's a this. And, Right, but people don't understand and know what's going on. Facts is what we deal with. That's why I'm, I'm talking after the facts come out. Mm -hmm. I know I ain't got nothing to say until the facts come out. This is facts. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when you look at them not understanding, there may be people who just don't understand who is listening and they come from different states because this is not just something that New York City is paying attention to. So people just thinking based on their state or this state or the law, they don't even you don't know New York. So mm -hmm. you can't, you know, if you understand New York laws, you know what this situation is looking like, mm -hmm. right? If you know you're a convicted felon 
with a weapon possession, and then you get convicted of manslaughter and, and, and several shootings in, in New York's Supreme Court. It's, it's based on that that judge who will determine what that sentence looked like if it's concurrent or if it's consecutive, right? Mm -hmm. And you're going to get you're going to get you're not going to get the minimum because you took it to trial. You blew trial versus versus playing out early which we have all done if we've been through the New York system so that we don't get our head blown off, right? Pause, we are like, yo, I'm going to take that three. I'm going to take that five. I'm going to take that seven on, on. People take that for sure. But when you go to trial, they have no reason to give you the minimum. So you get a, if you got one, a, you got one weapon possession, the minimum on that is seven years mm -hmm. for a felon, right? That, mm -hmm. That's just what, so if you now add up the rest of those, the minimums on those are seven, the minimum on the manslaughter is 15. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, where's he? Still two years. I don't even yeah. pay attention to that. Make I know it doesn't make any sense. So I don't let things that I know don't make sense even, you know, bother me at all. Um, I I corrected people, and I want to know where, where, how you feel about this. What I said. I said for people who was yelling free tax stone. I was saying to people, if you feel that he's innocent, you have a right to say what you want to say. But don't say free tax on because you don't like Troy Ave. I think that that's disrespectful. What do you think about me saying that to people? I, I, I think that you have the right to say what you want to say, brother. And I, I, I don't see nothing wrong with that comment. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah. Because I, like, I feel like people were saying free him because they didn't like Ave. Not because they didn't, they didn't think he was innocent. They were just saying free him. Because they don't like Av, and I'm like, that don't make no sense because we got to always take into account somebody lost their life. And you desecrating the memory of him when you just say free him because you don't like somebody. I think I told niggas they was corny for that shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It's a lot of corny people running around, bro, jumping on bandwagons just because it sounds like something to be part of. That's part of the problem, right? But um, it, just, it doesn't make sense, bro. Like, People don't like me. These people don't like me, and they talk about me. They say a lot of things about all of us when they don't like us, right? But that's different when you're talking about the level of jumping on somebody who's sitting there fighting a case of that nature. You don't have nothing other than just listening to him talk tough talk online. It's all mm -hmm. he's ever done. I know him just talk tough online, right? And now, oh, you want him out of jail, but now the person who changed his life, and, and I'm moving different. So now if I go wild out and get crazy, and stupid on y'all. I'm the I'm the bad guy or, or I'm the hero. Like you know what I'm saying? Like what mm -hmm. are we talking about? You glamorize it or you not? What is we talking about? You know what I'm saying? I don't mm -hmm. understand it. Um, I always wanted to ask you, bro. Out of all the people that we know in the town, we all know each other. Like it's six degrees of separation with all of us. How come nobody never squashed that shit between them two early on? It was online, bro. Mm. Bro wasn't even, he wouldn't even, I wouldn't even pay attention to it. He would, you know what I'm saying? He was just moving on. And the numbers came out in the trial that Tash was mentioning him, at him over 700 times in out the spans of the years. And Ab probably responded like, or added his name or mentioned his name from Twitter to Instagram about 50 something times. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You see the numbers, numbers make big sense, right? Mm -hmm. So, you you everybody talking about who he was the good you created a, a negative online. This but this where the lesson got to come in there, mm -hmm. right? You created a negative was created online because all you did was badger and talk and, and say something, right? Mm -hmm. So the energy is building, right? And people whoever's everybody moving on doing what they're doing, they're not. It's not a focus. But now you have this one place where the fucking bomb goes off. Mm. See what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Because all of this talking. And everybody's not going to be talking, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody's not with the YouTube. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, this is the case that you, people need to take heed to and say, okay, this is the shit that can happen from this YouTube shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember one time you called me, and um, this is a conversation that me and you had. You called me one time. You had a problem with what 6 9 was doing um, early on. And I remember you saying to me, um, respectfully, I'm going to let the people know that you was like, what he's doing can lead to Another situation what happened to my brother. You can't share that with the people. Like you didn't like the antics of six nine early on. You called me about that. You care to share that? Oh, I, I, I pulled a lot of homies away from that early, bro. I just knew it was a, a bad situation. Melly, Melly, my homie. Bro. Yeah, that's the bro. Like, yeah, that's the bro. Yeah, I never really, I never really got a chance to speak to him 
about that whole thing when they have I just let it be over there with them. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But individual on top is like, hold up, it's not a good situation, man, because or the, I'm watching it and I, I know that they they're already allowing him to violate, right? And it's upsetting me. And I'm like, yo, they know they're not supposed to let him run his mouth and do all that he's doing right now. Because mm-hmm. that's going to go bad. Mm-hmm. But because he's bringing the baggage for y'all right now, y'all overlooking that. And this dude, like, are we serious? And I know it's going to blow up in their face. So I, I, you know what I mean? But I call you, spoke to a couple of people. Yeah. Right, like, we're not here. We're not moving like that. When, when you it's see this, when you see, and, and look what happened. <laughs> look what happened. When you when you um see a, st- a lot of stuff go online, do you say, like, here we go, and there's going to be another Urban Plaza. This is Urban Plaza waiting to happen. Do you say that to yourself a lot of times? Yo, but I say a, a lot of issues that happen makes me think about it all over again, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I... I, I See people who don't understand the severity of what running your mouth can do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, and then it, it plays it plays out in different places. It may not have the same media attention, but the same acts are playing out as people who uh, are running down on people, right? Because they're saying stuff off of YouTube, bro, right? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. because YouTube have created a network for people to get money, and the negativity feeds. You know what I'm saying? The the the, the views. Mm-hmm. So everybody don't care what they say out of their mouth in order to get you, you know what I'm saying, your name and they and they and they views and they clickbait, right? Mm-hmm. So it's happening. So we have to be attentive to that because this once again is the case for people to take and make an example to say this is not what you want to do. Mm-hmm. Um early on too, you people were criticizing you for taking a picture with Casanova. I don't think they fully really understood your relationship with Casanova because they were saying, why are you taking a picture with tax man? you supposed to have did something to him. Can you care to share what relationship that you did have with Casanova or have? Uh, he, he had to have Casanova, me and my brother. You know, uh, I, didn't have, I, I didn't have a personal relationship with Cas. Cas knew my brother. He knew both of my brothers, John and Dana, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and... When the when the situation happened, I had to have a couple conversations with a couple of people. He was one of the people I had to have the conversations with. Um, and after having the conversations with him, I was satisfied with where I was. Fuck what everybody else talking about, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm the one who got to deal with this shit. Where I was with what he told me and how I could move forward in my life and everything that was going on with this, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so. And it was it was a narrative out there that you know it was an issue, and I ain't want nah. I don't want to I don't want to create a negative because I I just told the homies this the other day. But a lot of people in that thing was actually the little homie, and he dies a little homie, and there's people who were really upset and wanted to move and do things. It's mm-hmm. like nah, let's not really put the attention on that to create more mm-hmm. you know gunfire in our community. So. Mm-hmm. It's more important for people to understand that I don't have an issue with him. It wasn't about him. Um, the, the, the events and 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 you you also I seen you last night on the O five O uh, movement show. Shout out to Harlem Legend and China Brim. You was with them last night, getting you know getting a lot of the business clear. And you stated that you felt like Casanova actually might have got the bad end of the stick in this whole situation. You care to explain that again? Yeah, but I do. I feel like he got the bad end of the stick. Uh, I watched the trial, right? And, and like I'm looking online, I see people that now because of the because of tax conviction, now they he's a, he's all of a sudden he's he's he ratted on tax, right? Um, and everybody's so tough, everybody's so tough and so caught up in um, gangster life, everybody that every, it's so you know what I'm saying like he's a ratty and then, like like y'all gonna be y'all you know what I mean y'all are calling people rats be rats. Yeah. Y'all got into this, and they be this sidewalk, like, and they be sidewalk niggas too. That's yeah, why I said, like, why like, civilians so caught up in it? Leave that shit alone. Yeah, that ain't, like, leave it yeah. alone, like because you would be a rat too if you came over here, civilian. Like, stay over, stop, be, be a civilian, and stop talking about stuff that you add. You know, instead of adding fuel to fires, man. Right? Mm-hmm. Because if you you putting that to the, the wrong people names, somebody gonna get hurt. Mm-hmm. That's that adds more. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody's not playing like that, right? Right, I even see some dumb YouTubers, right? And I'm gonna end up, you know, getting them, you know, hitting them with the lawsuit. Stop playing with my name. Mm. You're over in another state and I can't find you. So 
you trying to get money, you know, to my because yo, know, uh, you didn't say nothing about Ab. What did you say? Everybody want to know how I feel about Ab testimony. Mm-hmm. That's just the, that's just the most important thing in the world for everybody. I just try to feel about Ab testimony, right? Well, um, so it's high. Yes. Yeah. 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 We were talking about that civilians, is, civilians, people of uh, uh, right, just YouTube. The, the, yeah. um, the whole situation in cash, bring it back. So, bring it back to that. That I'm speaking about how people were quick to put names and say, "Yo, because you around, you did this and you you right and stay out of that." Mm-hmm. Now, when it comes to cash, now they added him to that because his voice was used inside of the case, mm-hmm. right? And that's that's not good that you just throw that him because he made a phone call at the end of the situation like dudes have been doing for years and they getting all types of something. Unfortunately, this phone call was was under a, a federal wire shot. Mm-hmm. And saying they use his voice, he confirmed tax shot. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I just feel like he, you know, the bad end of the stick. He deal with the whole Rigo case. Where did that come from? He. he Try to move forward in his life. You know, I ain't, I ain't holding that push on that man. You know, I believe we, you know, somebody trying to move in a different way. So you know, he deserved, he, he deserved the right support. He need to, unless he sit down on the stand of somebody and, and do that, then you do that. But I, I see him on the stand. He was in that trial. Do you? Did you? Was before the trial and you got the um, the um, the word. Did you know who Malcolm was? And and I want you to know too when that when the witnesses <laughs> went out there, that came from the inside. Like, cause we're not supposed to know who's testifying, right? Could you tell the people that that came from the inside? Could you? Cause me and you had a conversation. Tell the people. I know where that came from. Go ahead, tell the people. That came from taxing his attorney, right? Because I'm sitting in the courtroom and I'm there from day one, right? When they was picking the jury, all that I got to see the whole situation. What's going on over here? And I'm sitting in the courtroom, and the judge, no, excuse me, the DA informs the judge that she's turned over new discovery that, because of, of course, security reasons, right? Mm-hmm. On, up until the trial started, they could not turn over this discovery, which would include evidence um, of. And the two identifying two of their main witnesses, which was Malcolm Kenyon and Troy Ave. Mm-hmm. Right. So this is when I learned officially that who the who's testifying in the trial. Mm-hmm. So they got that information. The next time you know, everybody know that Ab is coming to court. That's the only they bro, listen, the courtroom, you couldn't come in with no phones, none of that. You got you had to give your ID. They they put another they put another bunch of court officers in front of the courtroom before you go in the courtroom, mm-hmm. right? So there's no electronics in there. The only people who saw the, the inf- information was tax and his attorney. So mm-hmm. that's where it came out. They wanted people to know that. You know what I'm saying you're not you, you're not focused on the right things. You just you focused on trying to get everybody else. You know what I'm saying involved in the situation. Have you have you um did you know who Malcolm was prior to that? Nope, never heard of him before, bro. Myself. You don't, you don't remember know. you don't remember him? He was out, he was outside. Yeah, you said I don't remember. I'm supposed to remember him, bro. Bro, no, nah, I'm just saying, yeah, he was yo, bro, he was around. I know him personally. Do you remember when I responded to Taxon and I said he'd be around some niggas that I fuck with? I was talking about him. I was talking about him. I've been rocking, been yo, they he had a crew OTL. I've got I got them on DVDs. Yo, that shit scared the shit out of me. When I found out he turned states and he, I was like. Turned fed, not states. Fed, yeah, feds. That shit scared us because yeah. he was the he was the boss. Like he was yeah. the big meat of the situation. So. Yeah, he confirmed that. He confirmed that on the stand. Bro, that shit scared, he's, the, he's, shit, scared the shit out of me. He's, he's facing, a, he's facing, a, he's home, but he's facing a minimum of 42 years. 42, 42 years, yep. Yeah. So they did. So all right. 
the only witnesses that the DA had was Troy Ave and Malcolm. No. So who else took the stand? Because that's the only people that is hot. Okay. The DA. So the DA, of course, called all the people to confirm everything from the weapons to the video to everything that you need to say, okay, this is how this looks, right? We want to show you what this looks like, mm -hmm. right? We want to show you that we did all the homework to confirm this gun, to, to show you who's going in the venue when they went in. They did everything, all the homework they were supposed to do in order to present their case, right? Mm -hmm. All right. The two main witnesses was those two brothers. Got you. So they had experts in them too. They had experts. They had uh, Christopher Vinson, mm -hmm. who was shot in his stomach. Mm -hmm. He just testified that he was shot in his stomach and where he was when he heard what he heard from there. Pretty much that. Um, and the... And they had they had they used Casanova's voice or, mm -hmm. or the, um, as a witness, right? Wow. The, wow. The, uh, the white. This is a federal wiretap. Mm -hmm. This is our witness. Um, and they used Tax Stone's. So Tax Stone got called with why he's been on Rikers Island. Six cell phones mm. and 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 some weapons. It's, this was not presented before the jury. I'm telling you that this is argument back and forth from the uh, the the, the uh, DA and his attorney on what could and could not be presented before the, the court, right? Got you. So they didn't present before the court that he was caught with weapons in his in his cell throughout the years, been on Rikers and six cell phones, but they did tell him we caught one cell phone, right? Mm -hmm. And on that one cell phone, on this one cell phone. They have, you know, the app, what's the app again? Um, Telegram. 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 So the way Rikers Island works now is if you get caught with a cell phone, they put it to a certain place where the Department of Investigation comes get that cell phone and brings it to the Department of Investigation in Manhattan, right? Mm -hmm. This is all on, this is the testimony of the Department of Investigation person who's testifying in the trial is telling you the chain of command. Right, mm -hmm. that we went. I'm um, Gil. I went, picked that up, brought it to the office, gave it to the other person. She came and testified that she pulled the data from from Telegram, and on that data, he got an uh, individual by the name of Austin Navarez, right, mm -hmm. who hit him up, trying to hit him up like, "Yo, Tax, I do music." Tax never responds to him. One day, the dude, some years later, whatever, he he hit him, "Yo, Tax." I was in Urban Plaza that night, and I do music. Mm. Taps, Taps hit his sister. They said her name should be Brittany. I don't know, confirmed that's his sister or whatever, but she's all involved in. Uh, he says, yo, the dude that just hit me, yeah, he was in Urban Plaza that night. We could pay him money to get him to say that he saw me with, with uh, doing something else with gunshots and all. Mm -hmm. And so they got a whole bunch of him and her going back and forth working and bribing this witness to come in who eventually came in and testified to everything we just heard uh, them just put together and say that this is what we're going to pay him to do. So, so why was so why wasn't he disqualified for bribing a witness for one or the why wasn't the witness disqualified? I'm confused by that. Yeah. Why what? Why he wasn't Sorry. he was he was bribing, he disqualified. Why was the witness admissible? Like why did he why did why was Yo, you couldn't you couldn't make it up, bro. It was, it was, <laughs> I'm confused. You know, bro, listen, you couldn't. So that that's where the that's where the uh, that's where the DA end up resting her case after presenting the telegram of him and all of this, right? Showing that, and we go to lunch and we come back and it's now time for his team to call their defense, and that's the first person they call. Wow. And we I'm sitting there like, yo, they can't be serious. Like, is he really going to do this? And it was a shit show, bro. Because I mean, eventually the all the the, the, the transcript gonna come out, and you can see that verbatim. Like it's it's public records. It's, it's, it was terrible, bro. Like you really came in here, dude, and just really tried to front and act like you um and him. He ain't call you and reach out to you, and now try to make up the story to act like you didn't see him. We noticed they did what he did, but you because remember the whole child. The, old, the only defense he has is Troy Abdul. It went. That's it. Troy Abdul shot my brother. 
shot himself, shot anybody else, came outside and shooting. You know what I'm saying? That's the only defense he had. And he didn't so, take the stand in his defense. He didn't take the stand. What was he going to say? What was he going to say? <laughs> Because, because, bro, was there more footage that we didn't see? Was it because we just saw Av coming out shooting? What, what didn't we see, the public? What the public didn't see is the tax walk, tax sneaking in the front. We, we trying to avoid the security. We, they, they show him trying to get in the back. Back, back store was was tight. Couldn't get in the back. In the front, you gotta get searched before you get in the venue. They show, they show. Look at him sneaking in with a gun, right? Mm -hmm. And you, so they got everybody now who's been in Urban Plaza the whole night. And they point out everybody who was there, right? You, you know, I, I can see everybody who was running in and out the room. All the witnesses who said I ain't got nothing to do with this, and I don't, I don't know that was in the room. You see him leaving. They got all these people. A bunch of nobody wanted to say nothing. Mm -hmm. They just went on with their life, right? So. You see all of this footage. You see when my brother comes out holding his chest full. You see, you see all of that. Stuff. You know what I'm saying? So the only thing you can't see is just those moments when the shots happened. They said by the time they got in the room, less than five seconds of them getting in that room, the first shot was fired. Hmm. It was a lot of artists there. Again, a lot of people from the town we know. Um, what what is these when you see some of these guys, bro? What are they saying to you? Because some of these people are have said free tax don't. And what is your relationship with some of them after they said that? Because I'm I'm gonna say go on the record. Mano has said it before. Cass has said it before. And um, uh, Manolo Rose, different artists. What is your relationship with them after them saying that? Are they supposed to feel like I, I, I don't want to? What is your relationship? I'm good, bro. I understand mental health, bro. Mental health awareness is important. You heard? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's what it is, bro. We, we, you know, we came up so, so bad, bro, that dudes is gone with it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we stand, we stand by what we stand by for whatever reason. We believe that that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So it got to the point where we, I'm, I'm, it's like well, well, it's, if I would have responded to every one of the individuals that I would have responded to, bro, we wouldn't be saying having this conversation. Facts, right? Yeah, got you. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Um. So, go ahead. Unfortunately, unfortunately, at this time, they're gonna have to keep saying that to make that happen, right? So, mm -hmm. it's because it's not, currently at this time the way it's looking, that's not gonna be happening today or tomorrow, mm -hmm. right? So now, do I keep? Getting upset as I hear that, nah, bro. I ain't got time for that. You feel me? Um, another thing that kind of confused me. I, I've known you to have a um relationship with my son. Um, previously, I don't know where y'all at today, but I know y'all had a relationship. But him and Troy Ave don't get along. But he was calling Troy Ave a rat. And did he ever say free tax before? Am I bugging? Did he say that before? Huh? Did my what? son ever say that before? I don't, I mean, I don't, I didn't see it myself. Did, did but this is what I'm asking you. If, if Troy Ave is a rat, right? He's still going at Troy Ave for testifying. If Troy Ave don't testify, isn't it a possible chance that this man could walk away? Like, I don't understand that my son is your man. Why, why, what's the relationship with him and Troy Ave about this, him being a rat and all that? Like, it's confusing to me because what I'm asking you, bro, is, what is Troy Ave supposed to do? He got blamed for killing your brother. People don't know that. Although they say he was in charge, they don't know. And this is what I want you to clarify to the people. This dude's defense was he did it. Could you tell that to the people? So Troy Ave was in a situation where if he didn't testify, he could have walked and he could have been the man that that was getting blamed. So when people was going yeah, at him, for the, yeah. So for the rest, so for the so his option was right. His option was okay. This guy, I know what I know what I'm I, I'm saying happened. This guy shot me. My man killed him. Shot the situation up. I get caught on camera. He get caught on camera shooting. Got two guns. This is the situation. All this stemming from this conflict, mm -hmm. right? So now you living with people saying you shot yourself and killed your man 
And now you just hold that, be quiet, right? Um, fight your case, possibly go to jail for those two guns and, and for the rest of your life, live with that, right? Mm -hmm. Or or testify. That's that's pretty much his option. Mm -hmm. So could be yeah, because because what I what I want to say, I'm I'm gonna go back. I I do I'm I'm incorrect. He never said free tax though. I was just saying like by calling by saying he was a by everybody saying he a rat. He this that and the third. If he don't testify, a man could possibly your brother not gonna get no justice in that situation because he was one of the main he was the main witness. You know, unfortunately, deceased can't talk. Um. So I, I I was just confused, like you know, what is your relationship with my son, basically, right now? Oh man, I need one. I no comment on that, man. It's, it's it's I don't know, bro. I, I need to sit down with the brother. He got me confused too, bro. Like you know what I'm saying, like, I'm trying to give him benefit of the doubt. Like it, it, it's been a it's been a strained relationship with him and, and the and the people around him, bro. The sisters around him, like. Energy bad, so you know what I mean. Like, it, I ain't, uh, man. It's terrible how people ain't really moving the way they're supposed to be moving for the people, bro. So, I'm, I, I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt because I'm confused right now, bro. I don't want to speak on on emotion or say something. I don't. I want to understand, like, bro, like where you, where you at, like, like, is it, I, I, I respond. I seen and I said, yeah, but like, why does it, why is it necessary if you know? that this is my brother dead in this situation and you know the relationship we had had supposed to have whatever you want to call it and this is involving my brother's death regardless of what anybody do in it why was it necessary for you at this moment to say anything that's basically what i was asking you that's what i'm asking you. And i don't care how you i don't care how you felt about it why you say like it's a lot of people just don't say nothing why why speak on it and, 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 and add the few to the conversation so now so now now would you think he's supposed to just sit here and, and um accept that and say okay now my son said we've been we went at it before the situation died down it was before because me and mice was on the same page you know listen i broke dead i'm not feeling some energy whatever we went through that, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing but about that. Me and Mike spoke about that years ago. But it's been it's been quiet. Mm -hmm. Y'all wasn't going back and forth. Y'all went through something when, when when that happened before. So why was it necessary? Mm -hmm. Excuse me, right? At this point, to just say anything at all, man. Yeah. Hopefully, um, I I, I know that y'all I know your heart. Um, I know his heart. Y'all y'all get it. Y'all y'all get where y'all need to be. You know what I'm saying? It, I, I'm I'm. You know, we got to pray that that, that y'all could get where y'all need to be because y'all did have a good camaraderie at one particular point. But it, everybody has to realize how sensitive everything is. And sometimes you just got to, you know, you got to just be quiet, you know. And and me and you... I know I've been quiet about a lot of things. Yeah, and, but, and, 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 and I'm one of the people that you do talk to. And there was a time you didn't speak to me for a minute. And then we reconvened and you, and you was keeping me abreast like because you said you want to be there every day. You don't want to know. He say rumors and gossip. You want to be there. Um, but I, but like, I, I, I want to tell the people, like, I watch you be calm in a damn storm of heat ever, because bro, look at all the YouTubes. Everybody has something to say. A lot of people was talking like they was in Irvin Plaza that night, but the people who was there wasn't saying nothing. I know that was tripping you out. I know you was like, yo, y'all got to stop with this. Um, the YouTubes, did that hinder the case? Didn't they try to use something you said against you at one point? Uh, um, I think the you no know, the attorney in course examining app kind of was like uh, I was in clubhouse and I had some type of conversation a few years back, and it was like didn't try to say on clubhouse that y'all went there looking for tax or like, like I, I, that's not even what I said, but you know what I'm saying like what is you talking about like why I'm and I'm saying. He, there's no regard for me. He, he know what I'm saying right there. He knows exactly who I am. You know what I'm saying? But he, he need to create as much legal blue dollars as he possibly can. He just made, throwing names out there. That's how Mano name came up. Didn't Mano and wasn't an over murder and this is tax attorney and wasn't all these people there and like, bro, shut up, bro. What are you yeah. talking about all those people's names? So but, can you can you clarify that 
Troy Ave did not bring up Main No Name first. The, nah, it was the, the, the attorney questioned him about whatever the whatever the attorney's questions were at that time, and he started to ask questions about different individuals. And he he questioned him in regards to some things about Mano. Mm -hmm. and that's how his name came. He didn't just say. And yeah, by the way, Mano was. You know what I'm saying it didn't happen in that manner. Um, could you clarify something else? This letter that was written early on, because people were saying Taxstone didn't write the letter; it was his attorney. Can you explain how that procedure goes? Knowing the system the way you know the system, do you? Can your attorney write a letter for you without your consent? Nah, that's explain that. Explain that. That's that's straight ineffective counsel. How does it? You know what I'm saying? First of all, all right. Let's just say this, right? That must have been a, a phenomenal attorney that just obtained all this information of what's going on and something else that, you know what I'm saying? He wouldn't know if you told him you had some tie, some, some type of a tie to it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, how do you put that together? Because in the letter, you're saying, uh, Troy Ave is charged with the gun. Uh, uh, the guy that's dead was, was arrested for some robbery involved with the uh, BSB. And this is, and even though, uh, Troy Ave is uh, seen on camera shooting. Why is my client being denied bail? Like, what is she talking about? Mm -hmm. you, this is a this is a letter that you were denied a bail package. So you started talking about what Troy Ave and, and my brother was involved in, and and bro, what what is, what are you talking about? And you're not we're not currently Mr. Campbell is not charged with the murder, but Troy Ave has been charged in the case. And like, bro, when we respecting this. So and you, and you guys tell me you didn't know your attorney wrote this? Come on, man, get out of here. Um, question: If they didn't put the manslaughter in at the last hour, could he have? Uh, he would have. Do you think he would have beat the? He would have beat the murder and just had the assaults if they didn't put the manslaughter in. What do you think? That's a fact. Wow. That's a fact. But that's how trials are mm -hmm. because now they. Now that you presented the evidence, now you have the opportunity to put applications before the mm -hmm. court. That you know, what I'm saying different things before the court as you realize them out. It's not that just you know, uh, it's not that we don't have evidence. It's that we just have to now downgrade these charges. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And this is what they did. We said, okay, we can't hit you with the murder, but we can now add the lesser, the lesser included charge. Is what we're, so each charge they added the lesser included charges. And for most of them, I believe, I don't know with the guns, but all of the, the assaults and the murder was not guilty, but guilty of the lesser included charge of man one and assaults. When do you have a conversation with Troy Ave? What do you mean? Um, he's making records like I won. And I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to go on the record. Nigga, you ain't win shit. You ain't win because Banger lost his life. Tax Stone's losing a lot of his life. How did you win? What, what is there to win in this situation? That's what I want. That's me. That's not Trife saying. That's me saying that. What is there to win in this situation? There is no wins. We all lost. We, we As a community, we lost. As a people, we lost. We all lost. So I don't understand what you're saying. You won. What did you win? So I want to know... When do you have a conversation with him when this is all over after the sentences? Because I know you got to have a conversation with him. When does that take place? Yeah, we're going to, man, 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 we have, I have to sit down and have the conversation. But I pull up on everybody. If, I, if, I, if something needs to be dealt with, I don't have those. I'm not afraid of any type of necessary conversation to move things forward, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's, you know, it's, the sentencing is coming up. And um, it's like, you know, I'm just taking it. I'm trying to step. It's, it's, this is a whole new process. You know what I mean, like this is, this, you know, I'm walking through it with my family, my mother, uh, making sure she good. So, you know, I just got to stay focused and double headed as, as it's happening because it, I have to speak about it now because so much is is being said about it in the wrong ways. You know what I'm saying? I'm about facts. I don't, I don't like, you know, slander, defamation, and, and bullshit. So. You know, it's, it's it's constant. It's every day. So it's not. I don't. I'm. You know what I mean? It's not. It's so much of it happening that you can't just put everything where you need to put it. So I, once the sentence happened, 
you know, I'll, I'll, I'll see where I'm at from there. Um, I was going to ask you a question, but I don't want to, if I ask you this question, you answer it a certain way, it could affect maybe appeals later or something. So I'm not going to ask you that because I was going to ask you about uh, the events that happened. And, and, and I, well, I wanted to pose the question. I want people to know what I was thinking about asking you that. I was going to ask you, did you feel like, because, it, you know, Mano said that when they went there, it didn't go their way. And then now people are mad. But I don't want to pose that to you in you know, what appeals and shit like that, nigga, could, you know, it's just certain things that, that I don't want to talk about for, for, um, for reasons like that. Um, how mom do holding up? Because that's the person that nobody talks about. Nobody asks about how a mother lost their baby. How's mom do holding up? How mom do holding up? And I've been, I, you know, I've been dealing with a lot of mothers who, who are, have been there before my mother as well. You know, having their, their child murdered. You know, I've been out here doing that work for years, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, it's just, she's part of a, a network of mothers that we shouldn't be having go, right? Of losing their kids and now and need some type of support around her to make sure she's good, right? So she got a lot of that. I was able to circle with her with a lot of community organization women, mothers that I'm talking about that I know, right? Unfortunately, like, I'm like, hey, yeah, they see what happened. I'm like, all right, I'm like, Y'all need mom now and just continue to work together and just give each other support. So she just she's standing strong. That's that's where I get my strength from. I don't know, I don't know no father. I ain't had no father. So as I watch her, I know as I go under my mother, that's where I got my strength from. It's not like a strong black woman, I tell you. They could teach us a lot. And um so um sentencing is when? April nineteenth. Um If you could have a conversation with um Tax Stone, would you ever have a conversation with him? Nah, that, I can't. I can't have a conversation with him, bro. That, if, that's not possible. If he apologized that's to never, you, nah, that never, that's never. It's not possible. At okay. All. Not possible at all, bro. If at if he all. showed never. remorse and apologized, I don't give a fuck about it. none of that. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I can't. I'm not. I'm not. Man, I'm you. I'm not. Fuck that, bro. I don't care what happened. I, mean, I can't. It's just I can't. It's not. I'm not. I'm not telling anybody not to be forgiven and all that or whatever. But I can't. I can't, bro. I can't. It's nothing. So I keep saying I can't, bro. That's my little brother, man. You know, I raised my little brother, so I can't, bro. I don't care. I understand that there's this this factor, that factor, and all this is. You know what I'm saying? I, I understand. I've been through the streets. I understand shit happened. Bro, mm -hmm. just because I understand shit happened, don't mean I'm, I'm gonna be good with the outcome. That don't mean that. You know what I'm saying? Like I gotta let you know, I'm not on that type of time. You know what I mean? I don't have to accept what you want me to accept. I'm good. I don't need to have no conversation. You know what I mean, it's nothing. nothing. You, you, we make the choices that we make, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We make the choices that we make. We, 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 we when we do something, we decide that I. Right, this is what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm anything. Nothing else matters at this point. You know what I'm saying? So. You gotta live with that when you make that decision. That's what a lot of people gotta realize. They think it's a game when you make that decision. You pull that trigger. You know what I mean, it's, 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 things change. Mm -hmm. They change forever. So I, I think I think on the internet, um, and I'm gonna say this respectfully. I don't people really really realize how much of a, a beast you was on the street. I don't think people really know. Like they have no clue. Like Tri Gangster lived up to the name in the street. As well as the prison system, um, had um, uh, uh, famous fights with famous people that you know that's well known in the prison system. It's nothing to glorify, but how much you've changed who you are as a man, um, and showing the duality and trying to show people you can change, you can change. But do you think that people got you a little fucked up, like you? I am still tri get I've been Shan Duke McFadder for y'all, but I am still tri gangster. You think a lot of people got you fucked up? Two way mirror. You know I remember him though, right? The guy on the left. You know I remember him the most, right? With the baby stroller, the dual baby stroller, red rags everywhere. Yeah. Walking up and down Fulton Street. Back yeah. when you Two first. I, I think people need to realize that 
Like I, I got when I have been around and done the work I've done, I've told people that I made a choice, right? And I just said we all have a choice. I, tell, I keep telling people about choices, chances, and choices. You're not really utilizing those chances and choices. And you know, I took a lot of chances in life. Like fuck, I'm just doing what I'm doing. I didn't care about nothing. I didn't have no reason to. So, you know, I, I grew my mind out of that. I realized they, you know, what they was putting in my head, what they put into my prefrontal cortex. Excuse me. I'm, I'm drinking that can to dry, you know. I'm in, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. It's going to make you burp. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. trying to get it, you know, uh, promo. But yeah, yeah, facts. But um, so that that overcoming that, I've been through all that. I've, I've been in sales by my, I've been in, in special housing units, you know what I'm saying? away from everybody for years, no mail, no nothing. So it's easy to isolate and, and, and deal with things differently. You feel what I'm saying, bro? Mm-hmm. So it's, 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 it's a different mindset for me to be able to overcome that and, and say, I know my choices. Right? Mm-hmm. I know what I can do. But I also weigh that based on what you're doing and how frivolous it is, it is to my life. You know what I'm saying? The things that you're doing, it's like, you think it's major, but to me, that's frivolous. Like, that's yeah, not, yeah. you think this is, now nah, I'm on a different level. So you got to be able to overcome the bullshit that they're trying to throw at you, bro. You you spent um, but I but I but I'm saying me remembering you. I remember um everybody talking about Trife, the um the security guard <laughs> in, the, in the terminal. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, that was a that was a job. But you were so turnt though, but I just remember you, bro. Huh? People don't know how much you changed or you was turnt. Like you walked down the street turnt. Bro. Just on Crazy. bullshit. He had his ba- he had newborn baby twins, and was just walking down the street on bullshit. I'm like, yo, who, yo, homie? Because because remember back then we didn't understand what was coming to the city. You was early in what was coming to the city. So I'm like, damn, we got a lot of red. What what is this shit? But like, what's going on? Because you came from the penal system to the street. The the, 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 the twins was born, and you got. I say he got a dual stroller, flaming the whole stroller, everything. Um, and you went from that to this man we see today. So, um, you know, that's a testament to how growth and development, how a black man could, could elevate himself from the pits of hell, living in the pits of hell, being in the pits of hell to kingdom, you know, and, um, your strength, man. Um, I think you should write another book on this incident to give, so, so it could be a learning experience of the strength of how you have, because, you know you could have you could have you could have really painted them Brooklyn streets on some other shit. You really could have, and people don't know how much you told a lot of you. You was like nah, 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 nah. You understand what I'm saying? Because I think because I know people will make you feel like or want you to feel like oh you ain't do nothing. You ain't do nothing. This happened. You ain't do nothing. You ain't do nothing. Um, how did you how did you quiet that noise? Yeah, you know, I, over, I overcame the I overcame the, the mindset of just you know what I'm saying um, you know the hurt people hurt people mindset, bro, right? Because that's the retaliatory mindset. Back you know back you ready you ready to get whoever is a, who's next to that person or somebody who know who they you know what I'm saying that that's the negative that hurt the, the community too much, and instead of focusing on who you need to focus on, right? Mm-hmm. We got to keep our focus. It's just about that focus, bro, and. Um, narrowing it down, having patience to say, you know, who am I, who am I, at the end of the day, who am I really uh, upset at, right? Who's, what's my key point that I got to focus on, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and that's where I've been. Like, and you said, even if writing a book about it, like, we still going through it right now as yeah, we speak. As it's we been speak. seven years. It's not even over yet. You see what I'm saying? Like, what's what's to come? Yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah, to tell you, yeah. Like, it's like, you know what I mean? You just got to smile and stay focused, bro. Um, Man, the Manolo Rose incident. What happened outside the courtroom? What? Because so I didn't see you beefing with him. Room. I seen you and him beefing with somebody else. I didn't even know who that was. No, it, 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 it started. It started with him. Mm-hmm. So, all right. So what happened? Because yeah, it's, once again, it's these YouTube dudes, bro. Mm-hmm. Right. And it's the same. So the good. That's what you know. How you do, you know, I don't even want to be do. No interviews. You didn't want to do bro. nothing. Yeah, yeah. You wasn't never yeah, gonna do no interview. Yeah, well, you know, I'm doing more now because of the, just so much of 
this confusion going on, but I do I'm saying like, but so I end up with him. He was in the courtroom, so he had asked me for a couple of interviews. I gave him a few, right? Uh -huh. Just gave him some details. So then, um, the day that Av testified, you got a bunch of people. All of a sudden, there ain't been this many people in the court. Now the court, everybody's here. Everybody want to come to the courtroom now, right? So now all these people come in the courtroom. They all super tough and. And, and and they looking at me like like right what y'all mad at me for, bro? What's wrong with y'all? Like this is what I get this negative energy for. Like I don't even understand y'all. I understand y'all support tax, but y'all yeah, know what what boy charged with, right? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like it's, it's, what's your problem? Like you serious? So you understand that this is the energy I gotta deal with in the courtroom, bro. Like you know I'm saying, like what's wrong with these dudes, bro? Mm -hmm. Like y'all serious? Like I'm calling my moms and, and y'all coming here to support y'all were here. Y'all got comments and like, bro, like. And, you, and I come out the courtroom, so the, the YouTube brother asked me for interview. I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm good, bro. So then he's standing right there, just kind of waiting to see if he can give me a moment. Manolo comes out, and he spins right to him. Right, so Manolo, what, what do you think about the uh, Trey Abs? Right, so he, yo, Trey Abs lying. Like, bro, what, so I go say something like, yo, bro, why is you even, like, what is he talking about? You weren't even there. Like, how you want to know what he's lying about? Right? How you know what he would try have mind about you? You was in his room, who told you the story? Like, pretty much, what's he talking about? Before I could even get into my conversation with him, one of their mans, or two of their mans, or whatever, just standing around, was waiting for a moment to try to get knocked out or something, or beat up or stupid or whatever. I don't know, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just causing scenes, but I'm not with all that. You know what I'm saying? You going to do what you do, and we going to both go to jail after I pluck you out, mm -hmm. we going to keep it moving. So that's all it was to me, bro. Like, it's, I'm not on, I'm just, like you said, y'all. Got me twisted. I ain't got no time to play no games with nobody, bro. Um, how's how's your other brother doing right now? Ja, how's Ja doing? Ja, Ja, and uh, he in MDC, Brooklyn right now, going through it. He, he holding top. He got about fifty or something months, I believe. For uh, uh, he was convicted of smuggling, smuggling. They say he was smuggling drugs. So she was just smuggling drugs to him on Rikers Island. I don't know if you remember they had put that in the paper before. Mm. And tried to make it seem like I had something to do with it because just because it was my brother. But it had, we had, I had nothing. I was in charge of nothing. They was investigating me. Like I was part of that. No parts of that. Uh, the officers were the ones who were being, you know, straight robbed on Rikers Island, doing all types of drugs and cell phones. You know what I mean? So he ended up blowing trial of that, got about 50 months, but he still got to go back and do a lot of time in the state. He got, but he's working on his appeal. Do you feel like it's too much um, going on with with uh, on the internet? Because I want to talk to you about the internet. This is where all of the bullshit starts, right? It starts from tweets, it starts from the gram, it starts from people in the comments, and it starts with this bull, bullshit on the YouTube. Um, how do you feel about what's going on in the internet? Because it's, it's people that we might think you were affiliated with because y'all might claim something, but you got to let them be known. You, just because some people claim a certain shit, we're not affiliated. Like, we we might not even really know each other. Um, What's going on with this, like, like because, bro, Rico slatching everybody, and, and motherfuckers don't get it. Like, this shit bad right here. Um, What's going on in the internet from you being on it, but then also you're very... Observe it. What, what what do you what what's going on to you? It's this that's where everybody running for the for the money to get those views up, bro. For their views for everything. So, you know, it, it, there's no barriers, bro. People done lost focus on what they supposed to be putting out there. What's content was real, you know what I'm saying? Once again, they they keep playing with people that don't talk, bro. That's mm -hmm. the difference. So now you're making music with people who going to follow up on what they're saying, right? Now, y'all affiliated with something, and y'all adding that crime to that affiliation. Y'all out there hustling, scamming, whatever you're doing. Once you add those crimes to those affiliations, that's when they're able to bring that repo in, right? Mm -hmm. And and you now showing them this is how we're doing it. Mm -hmm. It's going to keep happening as long as you keep moving like that. Um, Before we go, Tripe, what is... um. What's your piece? How do, how does Trife finally lay down and go to sleep? What is your piece? My piece is family, man. My piece is just, you know, it's, it's kids, bro. That's my piece, bro. I tell all the time, children. 
right? Um, they're the most innocent thing in this world. That's when you find your genuine, you Thank know what I'm saying? No, no help back, you, you know, know what I'm saying? You know why that's yeah. deep, bro? Because I say that to them every night. Children could cure your depression, man. Yeah. Babies yeah. could cure. He got, a, he got a little son. Look just like him. Umar look <laughs> like I'm like, yo, every time I say I'm like, damn, you spit him out. Um yeah. what's your what's your um closure? I I don't, I, don't, I ain't find that yet, bro. Hmm. I ain't find that yet. I'm you know what I'm saying? It's, it's man, look, you know what I'm saying? Just this just the stupid shit that's happening now, you know, what's going on with Ab and Mino and and, and mice and, and just or anybody that just got their concepts of what's happening with the case it's like it's it's, it's not hard how you close when there's still so much happening that you don't know if something else is going to happen you feel what i'm saying mm -hmm. like what else is going to come from this like you already did this that's far what we're looking at so it's how do you how do you find closure in that bro it's, you just got to keep maintaining and stay focused that's just how i, I deal with it you you seen all the change shit like what what was your thoughts on that? I thought it was just fucking crazy, man. Like what are we doing? Like uh, oh, I'm still trying to figure it out, bro. I ain't gonna. I don't know what the hell is going on. Um, I ain't, yeah, I'm still trying to figure that one out, bro. Um, okay. Trife, I, I, you know, I appreciate you. you. Know, I love you, bro. Um, love the family. Um, man, you know, my platform is always here for you. I do want to say to the audience, um, nobody won in this situation. We all took a loss. You know what I'm saying? The 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 accused, the victims. Um, there's nothing to gloat about in this situation. We all lose. You know what I'm saying? Because um, Banger was my homie. Um, he's your brother. I didn't know Taxstone personally, but he's gonna lose a chunk of his life behind the decision. Banger lost his life, um, and there's so many people affected by this that there is no winner in the community. There is no winner, we all lose, everybody loses. And um, that's what I want the audience to know. And, and we have to avoid these, because this is what you're about, you're about conflict record. I want you to tell the people that you're about conflict resolution and anti-gun violence. Could you speak on that before we go? I'm, I'm, against, I'm against senseless violence. Senseless against violence, senseless, senseless violence, violence. yeah. Right. I'm against senseless violence, just be clear about it, man, because Sometimes you gotta protect. If you gotta protect your family, you might get violent and protect your family. I don't know everybody think, oh, don't save your, you know, protect yourself and your family, man, at all costs, man, as well, because people are crazy, right? But just be, just be right and standing for who you are. Mm -hmm. But uh, as far as just the negative, senseless nonsense is happening, man, you, you know, we need to have the real minds in it in our communities that understand the issues and know how to mediate the issues. We have the control over that. We are the ones who push that now and we push that negativity. So my focus is pushing positive change, bro. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And people, that's where people get mixed up at being, you know, with you positive, that you suck it. Don't let nobody push that on you. Be positive. That's it. Don't bring that negative energy over here. I mean, negative can always get met the same way, but we're stronger when we beat that negative, man. And that's just how I live, bro. Yeah, and um, for anybody who might feel a way about me, saying I'm, it seemed like I'm biased or whatever the case may be. I'm only saying what I'm saying because the man was convicted. So we're not talking about somebody innocent. If he was innocent, but did you see we didn't, this interview didn't take place prior to the beginning of anything. He's convicted. Um, He's been, it's, he's convicted. That's it. You know, so he has to go get sentenced. So we can't say alleged no more. We can't even say accused. It's convicted. It's all it's, facts. It's all facts now. Um. Yeah. Uh, uh, anything else you wanted to clear up before we go? I mean, so much out there, Brian. I, I, I <laughs> yeah. Would... yeah. If you don't, if you don't come, if you don't bring it to me, I yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Bring it up, bro. You know what I mean, if you, had, if you come at me with something, I'm always ready to deal with what it is, bro. Yeah, I just, I just, I just hate that, man. We all Brooklyn, man. Like you know, we. We different and um like I said, it's six degrees of separation. Like you yesterday you showed this is his man that this is his man. Like we all always been one phone call away and I just wish that had to happen early. And I wish it's ha I wish it happened now still too. Cause unfortunately it still could be more bullshit to come. You know, and all um, you find you find your your, your outlets, man, use your options, man. And yeah. you reach out, don't be afraid. That's that's what we, I teach now. Like, yo, who knows who who you know that could saying? Have who had that rapport 
to try to fix the situation. We ain't always gotta run to the negative. You know what I mean, all this everybody wanna be tough, man. I ain't I don't I don't try to be tough. I'm gonna be tough. You know what I'm saying? Like my name track anything but around trying to be some tough guy. Nah, I didn't I don't think that's that's respectful. I think being somebody who carry yourself with morals, honor, respect, giving everybody, I don't care who they are, their respect. And now when you get disrespected, you understand why I respond the way I respond because I give everybody the utmost respect. And we just got to move that type of energy, bro. You know what I'm saying? And just reach out to the people that you know. If you don't have outlets, find outlets, man. If, you know, we can't just allow somebody to, to bully us, right? And that's how mm -hmm. the situation created this eruption, right? It was the person doing a lot of bullying and we got to bring it back to that. They keep trying to take that out of the conversation. I wanted to ask you too, um, because I really feel like Early on, when 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 Av was bubbling in the streets, um, I felt like he was getting a lot of hate from dudes in the town, and it's just really bubbling now. You are seeing that a lot of people always was hating on him, though. You know what I'm saying? I don't think the audience know that. Like when you was moving around with him, did you feel that energy? Like a lot of people just was just on some boy, and it was dudes from Brooklyn. It wasn't New York. It was dudes from the town that was hating because he was successful. Am I right or wrong in that situation? But that's a fact, bro. Like it's it's to, the hate got to stop, bro. That's one of the main things. Like that's why Brooklyn, we've been we've been it's grindy for years with each other, bro. Like it's bad work, man. It's, mm -hmm. it's not not the way to move us forward. You know what I'm saying? I ain't with that type of time, and I saw a lot of that, right? Mm -hmm. And it, you know, you coming up, you got that broken energy. You aggressive. You, you they say it's cocky. Some people say it's confident. Right, and just the way we move, man, creates that energy where people find a reason that you've got that type of energy to just dislike you. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. who this nigga think he is? Like, who you think he is? Type, you know what I'm saying? We always wonder who you think you is, type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's just always been like that, bro. I've seen it for you know for years. You talking about you independent, you ain't under no major label. You moving, you getting all these artists in that you know major names you working with. You know they ain't gonna come, bro. All right, Trife. Um, unless anything else <laughs> come up, well, we hope nothing come up. Um, I guess we could speak again after the sentencing. Um, you know, man, I, I thank you for coming through. And this is this is the positive interview because I want y'all to know Trife wasn't happy one day here. <laughs> he wasn't. This was gonna go. This was gonna be something different. So I'm glad Cooler has prevailed. I'm glad the month of Ramadan was good to you. Um. And um, you broke fast earlier. We spoke after you broke fast, and I'm glad that you was able to uh, think, pray, and and got a strong support system around you. You know, the women in your life really was like, no, <laughs> because this this conversation is gonna be different. Yes, it, is, it was right. gonna be it was gonna be different, and um, I'm glad it wasn't because um, I think this is more um where we are as men and where we are in our life. You know, we could always be that nigga. You know what I'm saying? But this dude, yeah, bro, this, bro. this man is. Yeah, this man that that we showing today um is 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 could really have a lot of resolution. So I hope one day you could have a conversation with Mike. So I hope one day you could have a conversation with Mano, Troy Ave, all the people that you need to talk to for your closure and for your clarity and and and, and sanity. And you repping your mother too. See, that's what motherfuckers don't realize, man. He's the only male child that's out here for his moms. So y'all don't understand that. And a lot of times. He has a lot of women in his family and what shit happened. They call him. They call him. So, um, Josh, older than you or younger? Older. That's my older brother. Yeah, so you the middle brother. So you lost the y'all lost the baby brother. The older brother is incarcerated. So again, everything fall on you, and you gotta deal with all the stuff that the family here read, see, try to calm them down, and deal with all the rumors, gossip, internet shit. So it, it's a lot, but you know, try to be be cool and then um. My know. mother, my mother, I don't know how, but my mother hit me one day. She you know my mother got an internet person, and she was like, "Dude, are you okay?" Mm -hmm. it's like, yeah. She said, "I seen the interview. Are you okay?" I said, "Yes, ma." She said, "Okay, did you see the main old interview?" <laughs> I said, um, "Yes, ma." She said, are "You okay?" I said, "Yeah, I talk to you later. I'm okay though. All right? Okay. Yeah. Did you go to the gym?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right. Sure. Yeah. She called me later to make sure I went to the gym. This is my mother. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. And tell me, she said, she said, I just left the gym. This is my mother. You know what I'm saying? It's an older, you know, if I'm telling you I got the strength, but she's showing it still at this point, bro. So, you know what I mean? I got I to gotta be there for her. 
Yep. All right, bro. Um, I text you later on. I'm gonna sign you out. I appreciate you. Like I said, I love you, bro. Love to the family. Love to the little ones. I know they big now. Cause last time I seen them, they was little, so they probably tearing stuff up now. Love to the to the twins too. You you got two sets of twins? No, this is one. This is one. Cause you know the little the two little ones, they look exactly alike too, though. Yeah, they just about a year apart. But twins but running your running. family though, right? You a twin, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. He he hit twin and he had twin. Damn. Tripe, we'll build later on. Thank you, bro. How you got it, bro? He he's um also Tripe Gangster on Instagram if you want to follow him. What's the website? You want to give him the website? Oh, it's a bunch of them. Just hit me on Tribe Gangster Instagram. here to spell just like this, Tribe Gangster on Instagram. I'll holler at you later on, bro. All right, love. Right, bro. Peace. Yep, yep, love. Yes, y'all, that was um Tribe Gangster. Rest in peace to Banger. Uh all parties involved, like I said. Nobody wins in this situation. Everybody takes a L. The community takes a L. There's nothing to celebrate. There's nothing to gloat about. There's nothing to be happy about in this situation. Everybody loses in this situation. This is one to grow on um, for everybody. Um, action, reaction. Sometimes people act and you react. You could either be the person who's doing the action or you could be the person who's reacting. Either way consequences and repercussions can happen behind your actions or reactions so um i thank y'all today for joining me i appreciate y'all for being here part in the technical difficulties and the smoke detectors that happen sometimes but um if anything man i, I appreciate y'all for definitely rocking with me rocking with my platform for all this time this is our second interview um yeah and um you know like i said man to, to everybody involved in the situation man I hope everybody find the closure they need. I hope everybody get the help that they need. And I hope cooler heads could prevail and dudes could actually not get along or agree. But, you know, a lot of the BS, it starts on this Internet. That's why a lot of times you might see me go off the deep end or just say certain things because, yo, some of us just be tired, man. And you know what I always say to everybody, man. Yo, just leave me alone, man. Just just leave, leave me alone. I won't bother you. It is what it is. I appreciate y'all. Till next time. Make sure y'all hit the like button on the way out. Um, if you can, make sure you share this to everybody on your social media, on your Facebook, on your Twitter, as well as um, leave a comment. Leave a comment. I want to know y'all opinion, y'all thoughts on the interview. I don't want to know y'all opinion or thoughts on the case or what happened with the case. I want y'all to speak on what you think about what he's saying and what I'm asking him. Anything about any anything outside of that is not necessary. Um, but I want you to, to, to let me know what you think about the interview. You know, a lot of times when I do interviews, people really comment on the interview. They comment on everything else. They comment on my shades or my beard or something like that. I want y'all to comment and let me know what you think about the interview. Um, again, this interview was definitely sparked by um, the 050, the movement. Um, last night they did an interview with Trife, um, Harlem legend in, in China Brim. They got to play. They crazy as hell. So if you can deal with the crazy, it's cool. But um, they definitely did a great, great, great interview last night. I enjoyed it. I watched it from top to bottom. I really watch people. But Harlem Legend and um, and, and, um, uh, China Brim did a great interview on 050 The Movement last night. And this was what sparked this. And they actually said to Trife, which we already had something lined up. And they said to him, you got to go over there as well, too. You know, so um, thank them. For, for this too and um shout out to everybody who show love um until next time man you know you walking around me you know you gotta <laughs>